Van here with the Van Life Biker Show. Smash that like, give me a sub, and share, guys. Let's build this channel. Appreciate your support. Van here with the Van Life Biker Show. We got something a little different for you today. Pontiac GTO Le Mans. Interior's great. That door panel over there. Seats are great. Everything looks good. We even we get down low here. We get a shot of the headliner. It's like one little finger size hole there by the light. That could easily be repaired. Their door panel. Nice looking wheels. Back up so you guys can absorb all of this. It's for sale, guys. And if you want it shipped anywhere in the world, as long as you're willing to pay the freight, I'm sure my buddy will be more than happy to make it happen. We get shot from the passenger side here. Once again, nice door panel. It's in pretty decent shape. I mean, she could use a little elbow grease, I would imagine. Nice, good, hard wax job, but I'll tell you, what year is this? 1965. Let's get some information here for you guys. It's a 389. I've had the right rear axle changed. I've had bearings and seals put on it all the way around okay great and a tune-up Elderbrock carburetor can we fire this thing up and uh, see what she sounds like Let's do it. oh look at that guys didn't even have to get in it and pump the throttle or none of that. This baby will get on down the road. We give a shout out to my buddy Peppy over there in Australia. Know anybody looking for a nice old classic GTO, buddy? Here she is. This is where you find them, up here in the high desert. I mean, I'd be willing to guess that there's little to no rust in this thing. This is where you find them, up in the high desert. Get you guys a underbody shot, maybe. Shut the hood down there. Let's go around the other side. You guys, another undershot of the driver. Look at that thing, it's clean, isn't it? Oh, underbody. All looks good. No oil leaks or anything like that, huh? little drip every once in a while probably just something minor a little gasket or something but it's been sitting here probably 
half hour or so. Like I say, no, no drips there. She's a beauty. So if you're interested, drop me uh, something down there in the comment. And I'll get you guys hooked up with the uh, owner here. And uh, I think we're in the neighborhood of around 25000 for this baby. Which in my opinion is a steal. Um, you know, you just don't see them like this anymore. Like I say with a, you know, a little elbow grease, a good hand wax and a buffer. You could really bring this thing out. The uh, red color pretty hard on them up here in the high desert yeah, the a, higher altitude it's a two-speed hydro two-speed hydro so if you muscle heads out there you guys know what he's talking about but uh, just want to mix it up a little bit I'm uh, probably gonna post something in the van coming up here in another week I but I want to get something out there for you guys to try to post once a week and uh, I'm actually doing a kitchen remodel in my own house right now, so this looked like a good opportunity to just kind of mix it up a little bit and uh, get you guys out something. It is a beauty, that's for sure. One more look at the interior here. And we probably didn't get this site. We're not hiding anything here. It's all looking good. You know, he's been in parades with it and such, so I mean it's it's uh I'd say probably 90%. You know, a guy could always put money in anything. But uh, you know, I mean it's your door jams, everything painted. Up in here, you know, everything's been painted. He didn't paint it. What have you owned this thing probably a year or so? Two years. Two years. And he's done some work to it. You know, uh, some rear end work. I think some brakes or, you know, just minor maintenance for the most part. <clears throat> and, uh, once again, it's a 62, correct? 65. I keep saying 62. 65 uh, Pontiac Le Mans. And it's... Uh, 389. 389. Two-speed hydro. Two-speed hydro under the hood there. And it's uh, a good looker. Nice wheels. Got good tread. Good tread on them babies. You can... All tires on it. And, uh, you know, I pretty much can't find anything wrong with it, guys. It's a beautiful car. So, if you're interested, drop me something down in the comments or if you know of someone. And, uh, if you're in the States, of course, it'll be a whole lot easier and cheaper as well. Won't have to pay for shipping to get it anywhere in the world. But uh, other than that, she's a beauty. Fire her up one last time. Look at that. They're fired right up. So, just to uh, put this thing out for a good buddy of mine. He's had it for a couple years and uh, he's going to let her go. Go ahead and head on out. I'll uh, get you going down the road. We can, they can hear that tranny and all that good stuff. Get over here. There he goes. Nice open field so we could get some pictures of him. She's a beaut. Sounds beautiful. Okay, guys, until next week, we'll be back in the van, and uh, we'll uh, get some more stuff out for you. Be back on that build, and um, we'll uh, pick it up from there, I guess. We uh, 
just wanted to get something out for you this week like i said so it's a friend of mine good friend for probably i don't know good good solid 10 years i'd say over 10 years so he's not a, a shyster by no means <clears throat> what he knows about it is what he knows <coughs> excuse me what he knows about it is what he knows about it so it's uh it is what it is here he comes back again get a good shot of him cruising by beautiful car we'll catch you guys next time <laughs>